Hi, I'm Taya Williams. Thank you for joining me here on Taya's Sweet Aroma. Today I am going to be sharing with you the recipe for my seafood stock. This seafood stock recipe is actually very similar to my chicken stock recipe that I shared with you a few weeks back except we're not using chicken, we're using shrimp, of course. But you can pretty much use any shells from any shellfish that you have on hand. What I like to do is anytime that I am making a shrimp dish, I will save the shrimp shells and put them aside, give them a good rinse, and then freeze them in a freezer safe bag. And once I build up a really good stockpile of shrimp shells, then I'm able to make some stock. So what I'm doing now is I am um, prepping all my other ingredients. So once I get them prepped, we'll go over the ingredients. The ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe are some shrimp shells. I also have some yellow onion, celery, carrots, some fresh thyme, bay leaves, garlic cloves, extra virgin olive oil, kosher salt, and peppercorns. To get started, I'm adding in my extra virgin olive oil along with my onions, celery, and carrots. Just giving them a really quick stir. Now we'll start adding in the shrimp shells. Okay, I have all the shrimp shells in. I'm now giving everything a really good toss together. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the thyme and the bay leaf, as well as the garlic. Get those mixed in too. Now the reason you wanna add the oil in for this, this seafood stock is because unlike other stocks, it, the shells have no meat in them and they don't release any oil. And that is what gives stocks a really good flavor. And so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to create some flavor by sauteing everything together, um, which will give that oil some really good flavor and, and help enhance the flavor of the stock all around. Everything was cooking up for about 10 minutes. It got nice and caramelized. It smells like the ocean. You can really smell that thyme. I went ahead and added in my water, which was one of the ingredients I forgot to mention. Um, just gonna give the bottom of the pan a little scrape, make sure I get up all those good bits. So now to the water, we're gonna go ahead and add in the salt and the peppercorns. I'm gonna let this cook down for an hour and a half. After an hour and a half, I will show you what it looks like. One thing I forgot to mention is that you want to allow your stock to come up to a boil. Mine's is now up to a boil. Now is where you want to cover it with the lid, turn the heat down to a low simmer, and now you can allow it to cook for an hour and a half. The stock is now completely done. You can see that it has a really beautiful, rich color. It smells, oh, it smells just like seafood already with no shrimp in it, just the shells. I'm gonna go ahead and get stuff ready so that we can get this strained. I'm just gonna allow all this juice to flow through the strainer. It's gonna remove anything we don't want to have in the stock. So my stock has had a chance to cool some. What I'm doing now is I'm adding two cups to my handy dandy freezer bag so that it can go into the freezer and be ready for me when I'm ready for it. Um, as you can see, the color is amazing and it's, oh, it just smells delicious. Makes you wanna just drink the juices. I mean, I could smell all those herbs. Well, I could smell the thyme really good. Got some of that bay leaf. The shrimp smell is amazing. You, you would be amazed at how well um, this stock takes on that, that seafood flavor just from the shrimp shells. It is mm, so delicious. But anyhow, you can use this stock pretty much in any seafood recipe that requires a liquid. Use this stock, it's gonna enhance that flavor for you, give you 
uh, just, it's gonna make it 10 times better, trust me. But I thank you for spending time with me here today. Um, I hope that you continue to watch. Don't forget to like and subscribe below, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.